Oh, we have another problem. Uh, I think this is calorimeter. So we have a piece of titanium metal with a mass of 20.8 grams is heated in boiling water to 99.5. So gin paso yahin tubig and then drop into a coffee cup calorimeter containing 75 grams of water at 21. So the thermal, thermal equilibrium is reached the final temperature is 24.3. Calculate the specific heat capacity of titanium. So first we have to set up the equation for titanium and water because there are two systems involved. So I guess the titanium is from 99.5. So meaning Q fried titanium gimpasa ni yaha would be equal to the QA of water. So gimpasa ito ni ya. That Q of titanium is the mass of titanium M and then CP of your titanium and then the temperature of your titanium from 99.5 so this is a uh, heat released so meaning heat will dissipate from it so anyway you can see that from the equation that would be <clears throat> uh, 24.3 24.3 minus a 99.5 so that would be really give you a, a positive, uh, a negative value for your, for this one. Because that is 24.3 to 99.5. Uh, so that should be a, I think this should be a negative value. <clears throat> so your... Uh, so this should be a negative value because you can expect a negative of negative to be an endothermic process. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, yes, this is a negative. So meaning it's a release. Pag sirini a release, um, the titanium will release heat, so it will give you a negative value for that. Okay, and then equal. To your water which is uh, mass is 75 75.0 grams of water then you have your sip of your water I think that is one I uh, am sip it water so from the book the sip of water is 4.18 ja joule per gram Kelvin or joule per gram degree Celsius so, 14.18 Joule per gram. I degree Celsius na nala. Para mo natira. Because we're talking about change in temperature. Not just temperature, but change in temperature. And then, multiply it by the um, rising of temperature. From 21 to 24.3. So, that would be 24.3 minus 21.7 degree Celsius. Okay, so you can expect a positive number for this one. An endothermic process, which is equal to the exothermic process for your titanium. Okay? Ah, okay. You still have your... Uh, so, CP of the titanium should be um, 7.5. Uh, you can remove the units, of course. Celsius, Celsius, 7.5 times 4.18 times 24.3 minus 21.7 and then divide it all throughout by your mass. That would be a negative 20.8, 20.8 grams, uh, grams and then you have um, from 99, oh, not from 99, from 20, uh, from 99, yes, to 24.3. So, 99.5. So, degree Celsius. And that would give you your CP of your titanium. You get a calculator. Uh, 7.50 uh, 7 times 4.18 times 24.3. 3 minus 
Then our boost that should be negative 20.8 times 24.3 minus 99.5. So, oops, the CP would be 0 0.052. Point zero five two one joule per gram degree Celsius. So you only need it a less amount of energy per gram for your titanium because easily metal should have lower specific heat. Okay, malaksi magkandak iton. Ah, uh, heat ha iya. Okay. So, we can see it from aluminum and copper. And then, I'm just double checking the CPs of metals. So, thank you guys for listening.